Stop thinking you're doing it all wrong. Your path doesn't look like anybody else's because it can't, it shouldn't, and it won't. Eleanor Brown. As artists, I feel every single one of us deals with comparing ourselves to others from time to time. It doesn't matter how skilled or even how successful we grow to become, our confidence and motivation naturally ebb and flow, and we're susceptible to negative feelings and less than stellar moods. And this is okay, I mean, it's part of being human. However, if we constantly fall into this comparison trap and allow all of the negative feelings and thoughts it brings to keep us stuck and not making any progress towards our goals for long periods of time, it can become a big problem. And of course, this whole issue gets exacerbated with social media as we're constantly bombarded with out-of-this-world work created by other artists who are constantly producing amazing new pieces and seemingly lead the perfect artist's life. I mean, beautifully organized and incredibly inspiring art studios, the fanciest of art supplies are often provided for free by brands, the most perfect outcomes every single time, and the perfect manicure to boot. I mean, how is that even possible? Us, on the other hand, we feel like a hot mess 90% of the time, nothing turns out the way we want it to, and we're still unmotivated, still uninspired, and still lost. And even though art has always been something we've been called towards, we still find ourselves doubting whether this path is even for us and if we actually have what it takes to succeed as artists. We feel behind and like we're lacking some sort of fundamental component that all of these amazing people seem to have. And in an attempt to cope with all of these feelings and the disappointment that it all brings, we try to make some sort of excuse, whether it's something that we inherently have within ourselves that is keeping us from producing the work um, or from studying or whatever it is that we have to do to progress as artists, or we make an excuse in terms of the artists who are seemingly successful. We think that they are lucky and we are not, or that they have something that we don't. Completely ignoring or setting aside the immense amount of work and dedication and persistence and courage that they've put in to get to the point that they're currently at. None of this is helpful. And I was personally stuck in that thinking loop for years. It was that kind of thinking that kept me from fully giving into my artistic journey and making the progress that I was actually meant to make. The progress that I had it in me to make. If only I wasn't too distracted, making excuses, and of course, if I had installed better coping mechanisms in myself, built up so that I could actually use them in the days in which I was feeling off, so that I could still keep making those small steps forward towards my goals, even in the bad days. A whole new chapter started for me once I incorporated three core beliefs into my artistic journey a few years ago. And today I want to share these three core beliefs with you in hopes that they'll help you too. These are three core ideas that I keep coming back to every single day and their power has only increased within me over time, which has helped me not only improve my skills and hone my artistic voice much faster, but now in the rare occasion in which comparisonitis hits, I'm able to overcome it pretty quickly. Here are the three core beliefs that I review every single day. Number one. I fully accept that my progress is in my own hands and that it's up to me to take action instead of wasting precious time that I'm never getting back. I trust that I am exactly where I'm meant to be, but now that I am here, I am not willing to waste any more time as I pursue my dreams because my dreams and passions are a part of me. Number two. I value myself as someone with something unique to share and no one else in the world can do things exactly the way that I do them. It's up to me to fully give into my artistic journey, discover myself along the way, 
and to allow myself to explore and make mistakes because I know that this is the way that I am going to continue discovering myself and what I want to share with the world and how. And number three, I give myself permission to prioritize my passions enough to set goals and start chipping away at them every single day. All I have to do is stay focused, patient, and trust in the process of growth. I need to focus on my own work, stay in my own lane, admire and appreciate other people's artwork, and see them as inspiration instead of competition. And I am going to always create way more than I consume. So those are the three core beliefs that my artistic practice revolve around and that I keep coming back to again and again. I know that this last one, the creating more than you consume, can be difficult when someone is just getting started and is just in that phase in which you're absorbing everything from someone else. You're constantly reading books or watching videos or taking classes. And that is important, don't get me wrong, especially in this phase. But I feel that once you've learned, once you have enough practice with your medium, uh, you know the basics on whatever subject or subjects you're into, it's very important to start limiting that consumption coming from external sources and doing what you can to work independently using what you already have inside as inspiration, uh, your own concepts as simple or complex as they may be, and building up your artwork from scratch. Because the more you build up artworks from scratch, the easier that becomes. And the sooner you get to know your own creative process, your own way of doing things. But anyway, coming back to the three core ideas that I was talking about before, it was through these ideas, through actually implementing them in my practice, that I was able to discover my own identity and start building upon it. I was able to let go of distractions that were not serving me. I was able to make much faster progress. And finally, I was able to see other people's work as inspiring instead of demotivating or like I was behind or was never going to be able to reach their level. I think that confidence really can only come from experience and it's not until we put ourselves through that process of creation again and again and value who we are as human beings and see our actual original concepts come to life that we see that this is possible for us as well. Every single one of us has something to bring into the world but it is up to us to value what we have inside of ourselves and bring out those things that make us different from other people. And if we don't value ourselves and we don't go through that process of discovering those particularities that make us ourselves, then we're not going to be able to bring them into our work because artwork is an extension of ourselves. So keep on learning what you need to learn to improve your technical skills via online content, classes, books, whatever it is that you like learning from. But alongside that, start peeling back those layers that make you yourself and understand that you have something inside of you that is just waiting for you to cut back on those distractions and listen. Throughout your life, you have gone through an insane amount of personal experiences, both good and bad, that have changed you in some way. You have been influenced by a group of people, whether it's your friends, your family, you know, your entire culture, and even, you know, music, books, movies, all of these other types of art that have moved you, that have allowed you to slowly but surely start discovering things about yourself. Value that. Value who you are. And have a deep understanding in your bones that you can do anything that you set out to achieve. Once you start cultivating that uniqueness, you're going to start carving out your very own space and you're going to understand that you're not competing with anyone but your own self. You have a richness inside of you that no one else has and it's waiting for you to tune out the noise and listen. Just make time to listen. You got this.
I hope this one was helpful. Thank you so much for listening and I wish you a beautiful and inspiring rest of the day.